Hi, I'm Dennis with TerraFlex. Today we're going to be installing our all new vacuum pump relocation bracket on this JK we have right here. So <coughs> this... What? Oh. Okay, let's all just take a minute and look at Jen. Hi, Jen. Hi. Glad to have you with us. Okay. First thing we're going to have to do is get a couple of parts out of the way to do this. The so first thing we're going to want to do is to get rid of this quality piece of plastic on the front of the Jeep. Now it's held on with these little connectors. There's four of them along the front and a couple on the back. These things are kind of a pain. What it is is just a Phillips screwdriver head, but if, if you put any pressure on them and try to undo them, they will just sit there. So you've got to really gently turn it with no pressure pushing in. If you push in, they just snap in. So just gently push on them. That screw will wind out of it, and then it will allow these things to compress and they'll pop right out. So let's get those out. With all this plastic out of the way, we can gain access to this vacuum pump that they mounted behind the front bumper on these 2012 JKs. Now the only reason that... Really? Let me hold one of these. The only reason that we want to gain access to this pump is so that we can put a new front bumper on it. What we're finding is that the winch mounting plate comes across and contacts that vacuum pump and you really have to relocate it to put a, uh, any kind of a winch plate on here. So what we're going to do is just pull that pump out of here. We'll use this bracket and we'll mount it right up there behind the power brake booster. It's really a pretty easy install and works great. Use a pick or small screwdriver and pop the green retainer clip off the quick disconnect to release the large vacuum line from the pump. Remove the smaller intake hose from the pump. It should pull off quite easily. Remove the electrical connector from its bracket and disconnect the harness. Just push on the release and pull. Remove the two 10 millimeter mounting nuts and remove the pump from its bracket. Follow the vacuum line up to its retainer clip on the fender well. Pry out the clip and disconnect the hose at the push-in coupler near the AC line fill port. Pry out the two retainer clips from the fender well that hold the vacuum hose into place. Remove the vacuum line and intake hose as an assembly. You need to save that one for later. $1.25! Reroute the larger of the two hoses, or the vacuum hose, toward the ABS pump and master cylinder. Test fit the bracket to the pump so that the vacuum ports can be easily accessed without master cylinder interference. Bolt the pump to the bracket using the supplied quarter inch bolts and completely tighten with 7 16 end wrenches. Remove the upper fender bolt and just loosen the outer master cylinder bolt. It's a 13 millimeter, just enough to allow the bracket to slide in. Slide the bracket into place and install the fender bolt through the new bracket and tighten. Remember that hose you saved? Grab it and cut the zip ties.
and separate the check valve and quick disconnect from the harness. Snap the quick disconnect back onto the vacuum pump and reroute the hose so that it can be reconnected to the booster vacuum line. Loom the two provided pieces of wire that came with your kit. Go back down to the original location of the vacuum pump and remove the connector from the harness. You need to cut it so that there's room to reuse both the connector and the original harness wiring. We'll reuse the connector at the pump and extend the harness with the provided wiring. Strip back the wiring. and reconnect using the provided heat shrink butt connectors. Dennis, you just said butt. Chop Jen. Be sure to match the colors. Crimp and heat the connector to provide a watertight seal. Pull the loom up tight against the connector and reinforce with electrical tape and connect. Now there's already one hole in the black plastic computer mount. Drill a second 732 hole for the connector. Snap it into place. Route the new harness under the computer mounting bracket by removing the fender support bolt. Route the harness behind the washer bottle and let it just hang down. Push the harness down into the opening on the computer bracket. There's a little slot down there so that it won't pinch the wire. Reinstall the computer mounting bolt. Now there's one more piece of line that we need to get from that original vacuum harness. Again, cut the zip ties and remove that smaller intake hose. Connect the gradual bend side to the vacuum pump and route the hose along the firewall with the sharp bend, or the free end, pointing down. It'll just be used like a water trap. Zip tie to the harness on the firewall. Return to the bumper, or the front of the Jeep, and locate that new harness. Route the harness to avoid any potential damage, cut to length, strip the wiring end, match the wire colors, and reconnect using the provided butt connectors. Dennis, you just said butt again. Grow up, Jen, it's not that funny. Heat the butt connectors to provide but. that watertight seal and tape it to reinforce it and you're good to go.